Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, Getting to Know the BMO. And uh, my man, the mortgage specialist, is with us as always, Asad Naeem from BMO. There he is. And uh, we're talking about divorce mortgages, Asad. Um, okay. There's actually a longer name for it, isn't there, at the BMO? Marital breakdown or whatever. Yeah. But to yeah. simplify it, we'll call it divorce mortgages because when a couple split up, they often wonder, well, how are we going to work the mortgage out? How do I, you know, how do both of them retain a house? Yeah. So uh, I know that it matters who's on title, but uh, saying that, I'll, uh, I'll let you explain how it works. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. No worries. Absolutely. Sounds great. Um, and it basically is for people who are going through marital breakups and they often wonder, what are we going to do with the house if both people are on title for the house? More often than none, one person wants to buy out the other person and um, of course there are divorce agreements separation agreements uh, that are brought up and other debts which are piled in on it and sometimes people just wonder hey why don't we just sell the place and go our merry ways but sometimes that's not always the case because there are kids uh, who are living in the house who have brought, been brought up in the house their memories in that house and if they're kids they probably have friends around in the area they probably go to a school in that locality mm -hmm. and it's hard to move them out and break up their childhood as well so this is where this program exists to help the people that are going through marital breakups to find a solution now the number one thing is both parties have to be on title to the mortgage for this to work right and that's the only way you can pay, you can buy one person out over the other now we do work with all three default insurers in canada and this program is more or less the same throughout all three with you know slight differences in one or two of them but overall you can qualify for 95 percent of your market value of your home to take out some equity to buy the other person out and you can also include some debts which are involved in the separation agreement or the divorce agreement to be included in your mortgage in order to pay those out as well so this is something that a lot of people don't know they can do people just think it's a conventional 80 percent that they can take out and with that they can only buy one other party out and they can't include debts so always remember you know you can go through default insurance to get up to 95 percent of your fair market value and depending on what type of debts or liabilities are included in your separation agreements we can go over those as well and if eligible we can use those to buy out or include in your refinance as well now there's another thing that a lot of people don't know upon marital breakup upon divorce once all of that is set and clear both parties now qualify as first-time home buyers again so they can both qualify for the two first-time home buying programs that we've gone over the rsp program from cra and the government's first-time home buying incentive so if they're looking to buy new homes each of them if they do decide to sell this or if one of the other parties decides to buy a new home then they can qualify as a first-time home buyer to get into home ownership again and use those incentives and programs for their benefit so in a nutshell this is the marital breakup or mortgages for divorces and if anybody is going through a divorce and don't know what to do with their home or do their mortgage then Stu and I are here to help out that's correct isn't it because a lot of people of course in the divorce are stressed out and you quite rightly said the children are probably going to the local school and everything. So there's a lot going on, isn't there? And, uh, uh, but it can be simplified, as you say. And I know you will, they can contact you. Your details are coming up or me. Uh, but certainly you'll walk them through it. We'll both walk them through it and explain as us what they have to do. Because I think the first thing people think, oh, we'll just sell the house and split the proceeds. But... There's probably an easier way of doing it, as you say, than that, that uh, saves money and saves a lot of stress, you know. So, OK, well, let's let's leave it there, Asad. I wish you a good day, buddy, and I'll catch you this time next week right here. Thanks, bud. Have a good week. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to be notified of new ones.